Okay, so this dropped a couple of days ago, Terrifier 3 Red Band trailer, and I am about to watch it for the very first time. But first, let me catch you up. I am not a huge fan of Terrifier, and I'm not a huge fan of Terrifier 2. I liked it better, but I think Damien Leone has a lot that he can work on, a lot to improve. I have been told that Damien Leone uh, delegated a lot of tasks for this film, and he's not handling the practical effects primarily, and someone else is, and he's really focusing on writing, directing, from what I understand, which I think is a solid choice. He needs to focus on one thing or the other, in my opinion. Now, I'm really curious if this will be the one that is going to change my mind on the Terrifier franchise. I'm super curious to see what this one is like. <coughs> I'm sorry I've been sick. <coughs> ah. So that's why I sound like that. I may cough a little bit during the reaction. If you are a frequent commenter, please stay tuned to the very, very end. I just have a quick message for you. Now, let's get into it. See if this will change my opinion. <clears throat> Survived the most famous serial killer since Jack the Ripper. The five year anniversary is coming up. I a lot of, a lot of people would really exposition from you after all this time. Not a good solid start. <clears throat> you know what it's like to be in the presence of that kind of evil. What goes through your brain when he's close enough to you? You feel his breath. Okay, okay. I looked cool. Saw him today. Who? <clears throat> How can you be sure it was really him? I could feel it. Who is this Santa? He's scaring my kid. Yeah, he's scaring me too. Hey, Santa's handing out presents! <laughs> he's got blood on him. Don't you think people would be a little more than like, who is that Santa? With a not Santa looking face at all. He looks something like Santa and he's got blood on him. Kids, run over and get a present from him. I mean, come on. And the dialogue sucks. I'm sorry, Terrifier fans, but I saw him today. How do you know it was him? I can feel it. Three movies in, technically four, if you count the short film that this, that Terrifier, or that Art the Clown came from, and that's what we get. The lighting looks dope. Why would he I will give you that. Even if he was alive, which he isn't, when you want to get as far away from here as possible, as far away from you, we both know this isn't over. I have to go back to the Terrifier. It's still buried there, isn't it? It might be the only thing that could stop them. <laughs> That's some bold claims. Looking forward to the best Christmas ever, filled with fun, smiles, and laughter. That still throws me off that this is set around Christmas time, but it's exclusively in theaters October 11th. I will admit that it looks better. It does look better in terms of just like, it looks better. Literally. The lighting looks cool. Uh, <clears throat> it seems like the like age stuff is toned down a little bit. I'm still not a huge fan of making it look kind of aged and trying to make it look filmic without making it look like film at all. It just kind of looks like old and oversaturated and weird i'm not a huge fan of it but it looks this looks better for sure the effects look better to me in terrifier 2 it really bothered me that yeah we had a lot of cool practical effects going on but everything was like really kind of like washed out and yet at the same time turned up super like contrasty and it looked kind of just weird so you couldn't even really enjoy some practical effects in my opinion <coughs> i don't know if that makes sense if you understand what i'm talking about but I will say that looks better. I'm kind of excited about the fact that it's at Christmas time. Honestly, I think it was the smart move. You've done Halloween a couple times, even though I don't feel like you fully embraced Halloween the way that Art the Clown should. 
We've done it twice now. Go to Christmas, although it should come out in December. But I know they want to hit up both October and December months. I get it. I'm excited about the fact that it takes place around Christmas time. I want some snow ambiance, though. I want some Christmas ambiance. I want some Christmas music. So I hope there's some of that. And it's not just 80 synth vibes the whole time, but it takes place at Christmas time. I mean, come on, Terrifier fans. If you're watching this right now, I, can you be real for a second, please? Like, that's bad dialogue. That's really bad exposition. The entire trailer is just exposition. It's still buried there, isn't it? And maybe the only thing that's going to set That's some bad acting. That's some bad dialogue. I mean, listen, low budget slasher film will cut him some slack, but this is the fourth, third, fourth, whatever you want to count it as, third feature length film with a bigger budget and all that hype around it. Plus the fact that you specifically are like, oh, I'm going to start focusing on directing and writing and not focus on practical effects. And that's still what we get. I mean, come on, people. Come on. Give me something better than that. You can't honestly tell me that that looks good in terms of character wise. It looks worse than the second one it, in terms of that. OK, in terms of that, you cannot tell me that that does not that that looks better. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're a frequent commenter on this channel, I just have a quick message for you. I am probably going to be just because of the last like, I don't know, a year, a few months, I've been like on the YouTube studio app just constantly way too much trying to stay up with comments, trying to like, you know, obviously checking analytics, checking views constantly, checking the thumbnail, seeing what's working, what's not working. So my own peace of mind, I'm going to be trying to be off of there much more frequently and scheduled times for releases and also checking throughout, you know, coming up pretty soon, try to be a little more controlled. I was just trying to go hard, do as much as I possibly can. You know, I'm doing a bunch of other video stuff on the side, plus a job, whatever. And I know a lot of people are, so that's not really an excuse, but <clears throat> I was going really hard. Now I'm going to try to be a little more controlled from here on out, I think. So I may not be able to do every movie, every reaction, and I may not be able to get to comments right away, but please continue to um, comment and engage. I do appreciate it. And I do read your comments. I just may take a couple days now <clears throat> and I may not get back to you right away, but please still comment, still engage with me. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys all engaging as you have been. And so don't think that I'm ignoring you. Just understand that I may be taking time in between releases to check things and reply to people and stuff like that. Just to try to be more controlled about my timing and all that. And so I'm not constantly on the app checking stuff. So that being said, thank you again for staying tuned to the end of the video. I really appreciate it and take care. Got a money scared on a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, so everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through, you can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.